Welcome back to Nonprofit Profiles. Now we're going to hear from the child care providers that work with Connections for Children to provide excellent child care for families. We have Lisa Wilson. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. And Rocio Diaz. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Lisa, we're going to start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about your child care program? Uh, it's in Santa Monica, and um, we start at 12 weeks old, and we go to 6 years old. We also have a private kindergarten program. And it's Trinity Baptist Children's Center, is yes. that correct? Uh huh. And so uh, tell me a little bit about the, the kind of education that you provide for preschoolers. It's called develop, developmentally appropriate education. So we make sure everything is at their level. They can reach, they can discover, they can explore on their own. Um, we're also NAYC accredited. So we make sure that we have like a pre-academic element for them so they can be prepared for kindergarten one day. Mm -hmm. um, we teach them social emotional skills, how to regulate their emotions, resolve conflict through language. And what ages of children do you serve? Uh, 12 weeks old, we start as infants, wow. uh, and we go all the way to six years old. Oh, that's yeah. great. And Rocio, can you tell us about your child care program? I understand it's a home-based program. Yes. Um, we, I'm a child care provider located in Santa Monica, and we provide child care for in, um, infants to six years old. Mm -hmm. um, we um, have a variety of of activities on a daily basis. We have um, circle time, <laughs> uh, music and movement. I remember circle time. <laughs> and we read books, and um, we do lots of science and math, and we do cooking, so we do measuring with um, our measuring cups and spoons. So we allow our children to explore, and of course everything is age appropriate. And we just, you know, have a very warm and loving environment for them. So how has your involvement with Connections for Children enhanced your service? Connections for Children has been an amazing resource for me. Um, they have workshops that they have there for providers and um, other, other families and, and it's uh, pretty much open to the community. And uh, they um, actually refer families to me and um, providers in the area um, depending on where the parents need child care and so we go from there. Great. And Lisa, can you tell me a little bit about how Connections for Children has helped your service? Um, absolutely. It, it, Connections is a wonderful program. It's for families in need that um, cannot otherwise pay for child care. Mm -hmm. So they subsidize the child care. Mm -hmm. And so their children are able to come to a preschool program while they go to work or go to school, better themselves, or both. Mm -hmm. So, and, and Connections has wonderful workshops and training for parents, as well as myself as the provider. My teachers can attend those workshops weekly. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a great resource for everybody, really. And I would imagine that there's some kind of camaraderie that comes around from meeting other people who are in the same field, oh, doing yeah. the same kind of work. Mm -hmm. It's right. encouraging. Yeah. Right. It's a, a great place to network with other providers and and um, the 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 staff there at Connections for Children. If we have any questions, you know, they they have a lot of resource information about anything that we need. They they pretty much cover that. All right, so let's go back to preschool. Can you tell us what a typical day is like at your facility? Our typical, my, for my facility, um, our typical day is in the morning. We greet our families and our children. Um, we have different activities set up on the tables, and um, we, you know, we have circle. We have breakfast. We have circle time, and we read books. Um, and then we go outside, and we do. We have a variety of activities throughout the day. And how about at your place? It sounds the same. We're pre <laughs> pretty much, we do the same. We make sure that we greet the families. And then we have um, enrichment programs at our school as well. So we do like creative dance classes, you know, music and movement, mm -hmm. music program. We also offer, you know, additional classes for the children if they want to take yoga or French or private piano or Spanish classes. We have those available for children as well. Um, so it's just about an opportunity for them to explore and learn to use their social skills at school. Hopefully they will take them out of school and use them at home as well, what they're learning at school. So uh, Yoga, French, piano, <laughs> dance, I want to go. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun. like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So how do you think that it affects children being in a preschool program versus not having a preschool program? How does that affect how they are able to adjust to school, how they do in school, their future academic progress? I mean, I think that preschool is an opportunity for them to practice for the future. It's, it's helping them develop their life skills that they'll need to be independent, learn to resolve conflict through language. So they're able to practice that on their peers at, in a preschool setting. And the parents feel safe when they have 
a loving, licensed environment they mm -hmm. can count on and trust. And so that's a, that's a huge, you know, that's huge for families. So, Rosie, I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you tell us a story about maybe one of the kids that have been at your school? Yes. Um, well, one of you know our two-year-olds, you know, they're they're barely learning to use their words and talk, and it's it's really rewarding and really fun to watch them grow when they're two years old and they can tell and they can you know say the whole alphabet and sing "Ba Ba Black Sheep" on their own. It's really amazing to watch them grow. That's so exciting. It must be really rewarding for you to yes. see that development happen. Yeah. And how about you, Lisa? Do you have a story about one of the kids at your school? I have stories that will last from here until infinity. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but well, let's just one, one. <laughs> um, I mean, children, they, have, they just tell funny stories, you know, all day long. So it's, it's interesting to hear what goes on at home um, based mm -hmm. off their interpretation. So as they're reenacting things in dramatic play, if they just had, like, a new sibling that was added to their family, mm -hmm. they're able to talk about it, express themselves through dramatic play, play with a baby doll. They have a baby now. So mm -hmm. things like that, you know. I mean, it's it's fun to be around children, and it's encouraging too. So yeah, well, I remember my kids are a little older now, but I remember those preschool days and how much fun they were. Yeah, so I really commend you both for the work that you're doing Thank and you. Thank helping you. to educate our future leaders in your preschool programs. And I'm glad that Connections for Children is able to help provide you with services that make your programs even better. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much you. for being with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, next we will hear from some of the wonderful board members that help to make Connections for Children work as the wonderful program that it is. Please stay with us at Nonprofit Profiles. <laughs>